Creality Print Slicing Tutorial. 2. Software Function Keys Explanation. Open the Creality Print software. When you start the software for the first time, you need to set the language and server. Select according to your needs. There is also a choice of user models. Here is a collection of Creality 3D FDM models. Just select the model you want to use. Here is the Ender 3S one for example. Window operation. After entering the main interface, you can see a grid area. This area is the printing platform area. This is the maximum print size of the printer. When slicing, the model should not exceed this area. Models outside this area will not be sliced by the software. First of all, let's get familiar with the operation of the mouse. Mouse wheel is the screen zoom and screen panning. Scroll back to narrow the screen. Scroll forward to enlarge the screen. Long press the scroll wheel to drag the screen to pan the screen. The right mouse button is the menu button and rotate the view button. Right click to bring up menu options. Long press the right button and drag the screen to make the screen rotate. Software function keys explanation. The first step in slicing is to import the model file. There are four ways to import a model. First, click import model on the right side. Select the model file to be imported in the open pop-up box page. And click open. Second, click file open file on the menu bar. Select the model file to be imported in the open pop-up box page. And click open. Third, find the model file outside the software and drag it directly into the software. Fourth, open the built-in model library of the left software. Click More. Select the model you want to import and download it to the software. Download and import can be done on the model list page. You can also operate on the model detail page. The models will be imported into the software automatically. Menu bar. File. Mainly the opening, saving and closing of this slice project file. Edit. Operation steps can be undone and restored. You can also press the shortcut keys displayed next to it. View. Modification of the slicing interface display and mirroring modification of the model. The functions next to the right status bar are also related to the view. The top one is the top view. Clicking will switch to the top view perspective. Below is the view cube. You can also quickly switch the view angle by clicking on the specified angle. The bottom one is the slider. Drag the slider to see inside the model. Allows for better analysis of model structure. Tool. Includes model repair and software management for languages, materials, printers, themes, and logs. Models. Same function as the model library icon on the left. Printer control. Control the printer directly from your computer. Help. You can see the tutorial on how to use the software. A more comprehensive overview of the software's functions is included. The menu bar on the right is for login, wizard, and selection of the current model. Click login to log into your Creality Cloud account. You can perform some operations related to Creality Cloud. For example, you can directly download models previously uploaded to the Creality Cloud, 
or manage networked printing devices. The navigation keys will provide a brief overview of the basic use of the software. The model selection field shows the currently used model. Open to add and manage your models. The administration page allows you to set some printer parameters and modify some codes. Operation column. After importing the model, you need to edit the placement of the model. Click on the model to activate the action bar on the left and the model information bar in the lower left corner. The operation bar includes pick, move, scale, rotate, clone, letter, flatten by face, and split. Pick. In this state, you can do the model selection. It is also possible to move the model in the horizontal direction. To select more models, you need to press the control key and then click on the model selection. You can also select models from the list of models in the upper right corner. Press control or shift key to select the model. In other operation states, multiple selection of models is also possible. Move. Move operation on the picked model. The coordinate position of the selected model and the center, bottom and reset functions are displayed on the right side. The model can be moved by dragging the model or the three axes. It is not possible to move the model outside the printing platform. You can also modify the coordinates to move directly. But be careful not to let the models touch each other. Scale. Scaling of the selected model. The size and scale of the selected model are displayed on the right side. There is also a lock scale and reset function. Scaling can be done by dragging the three axes of the model. The model can be scaled by entering the size or scale of the model. Turn off the lock scale and then scale the model. You will find that the model is no longer scaled equally. Click reset to restore the model to its original size. Rotate. On the right side, you can see the operation bar of the rotation angle of the model and the reset button. You can see the corresponding circles appear in the direction of the three axes of the selected model. Rotate the model with the center of the ring on the ring surface by dragging the ring. Editing can also be done via the operation bar on the left. Click reset to restore the model to its original angle. Clone. The selected model can be cloned. Select the model to be cloned. After entering the desired quantity, click add to. You can see that two models have been added. Letter. This function allows you to engrave letters on the surface of the model. On the right side, you can see the setting bar for lettering. Enter the desired text in the text field. Select the desired font style. Set the font height and thickness. The height of the lettering is the size of the lettering. Finally choose whether the font is engraved on the inside or outside of the model. If you choose inside, the font will be recessed into the model. It is equivalent to the model minus the font material. Select outside, the font will be raised to the outside of the model. It is equivalent to adding the material of the font outside the model. After setting, move the mouse over the surface of the model. You can preview the effect of lettering. Click the left button after moving to the appropriate position to determine the center of the font. Then move the mouse to rotate the lettering. 
After rotating to the proper position, click the left mouse button again to determine the position of the font. So the engraving is complete. Flatten by face. The model can be quickly flattened. In this function state, some white translucent planes will appear on the surface of the selected model. Click on one of the faces to rotate the model so that the face fits on the printing platform. Split. The selected model can be cut in one stroke. You can see a light blue cutting surface on the model. Move the mouse to the surface of the model to see a red line segment. The red line is the normal of the surface. Perpendicular to the surface of the model. Left click on the surface of the model. The cutting surface will pass through this point. You can rotate it by dragging the three rings on the cutting surface. You can also set it by using the left side of the cutting operation bar. Once the settings are complete, click Start Cutting to start cutting the model apart. The cut model can be saved by saving the STL file. Select the model you just cut. Click File, Save STL File. Click Save after modifying the file name. Delete the cut model. Import the file you just saved. Right Toolbar. The Right Toolbar contains Model List, Parameter Configuration, Support Settings, and Slice Button. The Model List shows the imported models. You can select models in the list. When the models are arranged in a confusing way, click Auto Arrange to quickly arrange all models automatically. There are also buttons for uploading models to Creality Cloud and deleting models. Select the model you want to delete and click Delete. Click Yes to complete the deletion. On the right side is the Support Settings bar. For the overhang in the model, you need to add support. The red surface on the model needs special attention. Here you can set the basic parameters of the added support and choose the way to add it. Automatic support generation allows the software to automatically add supports to the model's overhanging surfaces. Click on Clear all supports to remove them. Manual support can be added according to your needs. Especially, the red surface needs to be observed carefully. It should be noted that 1. If you check the box to only add support to the hotbed. If the model has overlapping overhanging surfaces, only the lowest surface can be supported, and no support will be added to the other overlapping surfaces. This may cause insufficient support to be added resulting in printing failure. So this mode is suitable for models with simple structure. 2. Only the selected model can be added to the model. So within the same model different supports can be added according to the structure of the respective model. Return to Print Configuration The Parameter Configuration field contains several parameter configuration options that are preset by the software. Mainly shows the material, print type and layer height. Clicking on an option will display the main configuration parameters. Click on New Profile to add a new configuration. You need to set the printer type, material type and template name first.
After setting these items, click Next. You can see some options for setting the printing parameters. Mouse over each item and there will be a description. Only some basic settings are shown here. Click Advanced Settings. It will bring up more detailed parameter settings. Click on the Expert Mode in the upper right corner. It will bring up all the parameter setting options. Detailed settings for each parameter will be explained later. Once saved, you can see the new profile options in the Select Profile Configuration field. Click Edit on the left side to edit the parameters again after selecting them. The right side is to delete the profile. After setting the parameters and adding support, you can click Start Slice. After the slicing is completed, some preview options will appear at the bottom and right side. At the bottom of the interface is the Print Preview Operation Frame. Click on Start and the computer will start to simulate the print path of the printer. You can also adjust the speed of printing. On the right side, you can select each layer or each step in the preview mode box. This option is all displayed differently and is adjusted according to individual needs. After setting and checking the box to display only the first layer, you can click preview to see. The preview screen only shows the specified layer. Other layers are hidden. You need to click pause or enter once after entering the number of layers to trigger the function. On the far right is the option to adjust the number of steps and layers by dragging. Drag the progress bar to adjust the progress of the screen. You can also enter specific values or up and down keys for more delicate control. The print report displayed at the top right shows the time required to print, the length and weight of the material. If the price of the material is set in the material management, the cost of the printed material will also be calculated automatically. Click on Tools, Material Management. Enter the exact amount in the material cost. Reslice to see the change in material cost in the print report. In the print preview, you can set the preview screen to show the print platform and nozzles, or not. This makes it easier to observe. Uncheck the box to hide them. There are two display modes, Color Display and G-Code Preview. The Color Display has three types of speed slash structure slash nozzle. You can set it according to your needs. Check the type of structure to be displayed in the structure and the corresponding part of the path will be displayed. The G-Code mode can only be previewed and not edited here. If you need to modify it, you can do so outside the software via notepad. Click on Cancel Preview at the bottom right to exit the Slice Preview and return to the Slice Editing page. Print Preview page after slicing. Local saving and wireless LAN transfer of G-Code files, USB transfer also possible. G-Code files can also be uploaded to your personal Creality Cloud space. Here is an explanation of local saving. Other transmission methods will be explained in other videos. After slicing, click on Export. Select the folder for saving. Name the file. Note that some printers can only recognize numbers and letters. If you use other characters to name the file, the name displayed on the printer will become a series of garbled code. So it is recommended to use only numbers and letters for naming. And the number of characters should be limited to 10. Select G-Code format for the file format. 